another travel vlog. So this was our first time ever traveling to Borneo and it definitely did not disappoint. So we traveled to Gaia Island Resort in Borneo and I have to say this was one of the easiest destinations that we have traveled to from Singapore in terms of a beach holiday. I couldn't believe how easy it was to get here. So we traveled with Silk Air and took a two hour flight over to Kota Kinabalu in Malaysia. Thank you. So when we landed in Kota Kinabalu, we took a five minute taxi over to the jetty. It's there that the Gaia Island Resort kind of checks you in. Then you jump on a charter boat, which takes you over to Gaia Island Resort, which is literally only like a five or 10 minute boat ride. So such a smooth journey. We couldn't believe how easy it was to get there. And then you end up here in absolute paradise. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what we got up to in this trip. So keep on watching. Hi guys, hope you're well. I don't want to talk too much because I've just got off a flight and I'm feeling a bit meh. So I need to wait for my suitcase to come up to our hotel and then I'm going to jazz myself up a little bit. Just arrived at our incredible hotel and I just want to give you a quick room tour before we begin to live in it. It's just incredible, so I want to show you guys. First of all, this is our little balcony here and we have a nice little seating area gorgeous view of the ocean and these are the other like bungalows as well they're so so cute and then we also have like a little sunbathing area here as well love how we can like hear the birds and all the wildlife up here we're kind of like in the middle of the jungle it feels like it's very humid up here but it is gorgeous so this is our bedroom Lovely big bed. Can't wait to lie down on there. <laughs> have a little TV there. Justin's here. And yeah, that's our bedroom. Moving on here, we have a little like dressing room, safe. This is a really like big open walk-in wardrobe. I'm gonna make sure that I fill this up. <laughs> so cute. They left us a bottle of wine with a note and like a fruit bowl. Fruit bowl love me a fruit bowl so that's very cute of them so we are staying at gaia island resort in borneo our first time in borneo so so excited to be here best part of the whole hotel room is this incredible king size tub have you ever seen a bathtub so huge i don't think i've ever been in one this big and i'm so excited to get in there okay you can demonstrate you can fit like 10 people in there it's going to take ages to fill up yeah probably then we have um, a little sink area over here and the best part is there's two so one for me and one for Justin huge open plan shower toilet and that is the hotel room so excited to be here can't wait for my luggage to come up so that I can get ready and then we will show you around and we are flying a drone for the first time and it's <laughs> if I'm honest it's making me really nervous because I don't know I feel like it's a really big deal to fly a drone but it's yeah. going well so far we're just taking it slow and easy we rented it from rent something Lair in Singapore so they basically rent all sorts of different cameras and drones and GoPros so it's really great if you're like going on a trip and you want to get some really good footage or something I'll link them below if you want to go check them out but um, they've been a bit of a lifesaver and last minute I've been managed to get us a drone so Justin's just having a play around with it now hopefully we can get some really nice shots so the hotel has these cute little pods that have like beds that you can chill out in so I think we're gonna take advantage of one right now come to omakase for the first night's dinner Japanese food Gaia Island 
Island Resort. We went to a Japanese restaurant called Omakase and it was so delicious and so much fun at the same time. So it was really strange having Japanese food in Malaysia, but it was just delicious. We cooked it right in front of you, which is always fun to watch. And we had, I think around four or five different courses of food. Ending it on some kind of chocolate tiramisu with matcha ice cream and it was just incredible. So that was such a nice first dinner experience at the resort and I just can't wait for the rest of the long weekend. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for more adventures. Good morning. It's our first full day in paradise on Gaia Island and we are heading down to breakfast. I'm really excited to see the breakfast. <laughs> I feel like breakfast is the best part of hotel stay sometimes. So I think today on the agenda we have breakfast and then we are doing some snorkeling apparently which will be really nice. I'm a big fan of a good snorkel. It's just more a relaxed day at the resort and then tomorrow we have things like kayaking through the mangroves so that'll be really fun as well. So yeah heading down to breakfast now this incredible view. I love this little thing so much. I'm starting off slow. <laughs> this very small fruit salad. Some cereal. And then I grab some hash browns, chicken sausage with tomatoes, and a croissant and jam. And then maybe I'll have another round after. This is already done round one, complete. Off he goes for more. <laughs> We've just got back from snorkeling and um, grabbed some lunch. My snorkel mask has completely indented my face. It's been like two hours and it still hasn't gone. Um, we're gonna have a quick nap in a moment. Um, but snorkeling was fun though. That oh, was amazing, yeah. We saw so many types of fish. Can you name any? No, but some of the, some of the people even saw black tip reef sharks. Yeah, we coral was so so pretty, and it was really nice because they gave us life jackets, and it was probably the first time that me and Justin have been able to snorkel out really like deep together because normally I'm such a scaredy cat and I don't go out, but with a um, life jacket on, I could just go out as deep as I wanted, and it's just nice to really do it properly. Yeah. So. It was fun, I really recommend it. The hotel has loads of different activities that you can do and snorkeling is one of them. We're gonna have a little nap now and then we will be back for, we're gonna head to the beach after, do some more droning and then we're going for the crafts making. So that'll be fun as well. So we'll see you in a bit. We are awake and back from our nap and we've come to the beach. We just did a quick droning session number two. Right now we are heading off to do some craft making, which I'm really excited about. I'm not too sure what we're gonna be making, but it'll be a nice thing to do this afternoon. By the way, this bag comes with every room here at the resort. How nice is this? Like, I literally wanna take this home with me. This time of day is really nice on the beach. It's about 3.30 and the tide has gone out a little bit, which is really nice. And yeah, it's just really nice and quiet and relaxing around here. Like everyone's just chilling. There's hammocks behind me, which I'm gonna take advantage of later and read my book. But yeah, it's just so like tranquil here and relaxing. And I love it. They've been making this like love heart. And last night, a couple got to have dinner in the middle of it. And it's the cutest thing. I put so much effort into making it. How beautiful is that? So it's a little heart formed with sand and they have like roses and pebbles all the way around. Did you arrange this for me? I would love to say yes. <laughs> Are we gonna have a romantic uh, dinner tonight? <laughs> put a table in there. Yeah, they put a table in there last yeah. night. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Let's head off now and do some crafts. Okay, um guys from our last full day on Gaia Island. 
So right now we are on our way to the jetty and we are going on a mangrove kayaking tour. And then after that, I think we're going to a, another island for some lunch. So it should be a fun day. And then later the, uh, this afternoon, we have our spa treatments, which I am so excited about because this is the same chain of hotel that we went to in Cameron Highlands. And if you see my Cameron Highlands vlog, I'll link it up here in the iCards. You'll know that we had the most incredible spa treatments like hands down the best bar we've ever been to so i'm so excited to see what kind of treatments they give us today just head into the jetty now let's see where the day takes us ourselves right now we're looking out for a snake right now we've seen lots of different birds and just the sounds here are incredible it's really, really cool so much. yeah the guy knows everything about this place yeah. he's just telling us all the ways that they're trying to like conserve the place and make sure there's not too much like litter going around from the village they're always cleaning up the mangrove and make sure that it's not getting ruined which is really good to hear so. kayaking this morning was so fun i feel like me and you are really good at kayaking yeah. right we're a good little tag team. I think we, 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 we were like racing through the mangroves. That was really fun and we are starving right now. So excited to get some lunch. So here we are, we just arrived at the private beach island so beautiful here when the sun comes out in the moment the um sea is just like green it's so so pretty it's so quiet and chill here i can't wait to stay here for a few hours it's gonna be so nice justin is setting up the drone for another drone shot i think this island will look really really cool on a drone so gonna see what magic we can capture oh my god and there's a hammock i'm gonna fully take advantage of this hammock right now question is how does one get in a hammock gracefully <laughs> that wasn't graceful in the slightest i'm sure everyone saw my knickers sad to be leaving i do not want to go home tomorrow we just got out of our spa session which was incredible it was so relaxing i fell asleep it was bliss mine consisted of a foot scrub this incredible outdoor bath um which me and justin had a little soak in and then um we had an hour massage after that and it was just so relaxing it's really put me in a great mood for the evening and i'm so hungry now so we are heading out to our last dinner destination of the trip which is their restaurant here called fisherman cove i think it's one of their more like fancier restaurants so i'm excited to see what they have to offer what kind of food they have 